All right, guys, so we're going to make a rainbow out of the paper plate. Um, so first, you're going to get your paper plate. You're going to fold it in half as best as you can. Open it up and cut along that line. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Don't worry about that. Um, so I started one over here where I took my markers. Um, I used a few different colors. Red, um, red orange, orange, yellow, lime green, green light blue, dark blue, purple, and fuchsia. And this is because um, I'm doing a thin line all the way down. If you want, you can do really thick lines, um, however you want your rainbow to be. So let's begin. So you're going to want to start with red. The red is the color that is on the outside of our rainbow. Um, There's some physics behind that, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, with light and all. But red goes on the outside. And you just want to follow along that edge of the paper plate. doesn't have to be exactly perfect because paper plates are not um, exactly flat, but just do your best here. So we got red. I'm going to do red orange because I'm going to use as many colors as I want to as I, as I like. You can use however many little, however many, however many you want. But remember, keep it in order of your rainbows. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That is the spectrum of light. Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I'm going to do orange. I just want to try and cover as much as of the plate as I possibly can. That's why I'm using as much, so many colors. Um, if you don't have this many colors, you can um, just draw thicker, thicker lines so they can be as thick or as thin as you want. But I want a nice big rainbow. Like I said, this does not need to be perfect. This is for fun, for you. Yellow. green it gets a little bit easier when you're not on those ridges from the paper plate light blue
dark blue or indigo if you'd like. Violet or purple. And fuchsia. I'm going to end mine with fuchsia. That's just to make it fun. So I think it's a pretty color. So now that I have a nice thick rainbow, I'm going to grab some cotton balls. I just grabbed six, um, so I can do three on each side. So you'll take your glue. You can use wet glue or dry or glue stick, either one works. And make sure to get it really good so that it really sticks on there. And place your um, cotton balls down. Make sure to press them down so that they stick really well. You can do a bunch of, you can make big clouds for your rainbow. You can make smaller clouds for your rainbow. So you can use as many cotton balls as you want. Don't cover up the whole thing because that defeats the purpose of the rainbow that you just made. And stick these down. I need a little bit more glue for the last one. All right. Press them on in. And there you go. You have your rainbow. You can, if you would like, cut this out. Or you can um, color it with like a light blue. Um, so I, I think I'm going to cut mine out. So just be a little careful. And you can cut along that line. But if you're a little bit nervous to mess up that rainbow with your cutting, you can... Um, just color it light blue and since I didn't do the best job I'm gonna just fill in that little piece of white and there you have it a rainbow made out of a paper plate y'all have fun get creative bye